Hello writers! Welcome back to Run With GPS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your club account. After the account has been created, you'll find it by going to Home, Profile, scroll down and you'll see a club section, then click on your club name. It'll have the same icon as a Ride With GPS ambassador. Right now my club is pretty plain. So let's click on Edit Profile. We can change the club name. Let's give it a subhead, a one sentence description. We're going to choose a logo. This is best if it's set up as a square and a cover image. You can check this box to only allow members with the invite link to join the club, but we'll cover this a little bit later. Now let's give our club a description. Any text that we enter on the left side will show up automatically on the right. I'm going to paste some text that I typed out earlier. As you see, it has no formatting, so let's make it look better. First, let's make this a list. To make it a list, we're going to make it an unnumbered list. Now we're going to select this text right with GPS. Make it a link to ridergps.com. Make this text italics. Then we're going to make this contact Kevin into a link to his email address. We'll select his name. And instead of HTTP, we'll type in mail to colon slash slash and his email address. We'll make these two bold. This one bigger. You can highlight and then click the button to the corresponding effect that you want to do. Or you can type in the characters. Now that we've given our club a logo, a banner, and a description, we're going to scroll down and work with the route library. We'll gladly copy over any routes that you have in another account. Here we can sort the route names by clicking on the column headers like route name, the location, distance, elevation, and when it was created or added to the library. You can see here we can scroll down on the list or we can make the list longer or shorter. Click on filters to see more sorting options. We can specify a minimum distance, a maximum distance, and minimum or maximum elevation. We can search for a specific name or starting location, or you can combine these all together to find a specific route. Now let's sign into the club account to do some other work with it. Only club members with the manages route ability will be allowed to sign into the club. We'll click this link. It'll change the top bar to yellow. Anytime this top bar is yellow, it means you're signed in as another account. Now we'll scroll back down to the route library. Now we can see some different info, like the checkboxes on the left, the privacy, and just view it. The privacy setting, and some other options in the bottom, like set tags, set city, privacy, create an event, or delete a route. We'll select a few routes here. We're going to add some tags, which are keywords to help you find your routes or group them together. We'll call these weekends. Hit the enter key to make the tag and then click add tags. Now you can see the three routes have a weekends tag on them. Let's select two other routes and this first route. Create a new tag called longer rides. Click add tags. Now you can see my first route has two tags associated with it, and the other two routes only have one. To remove tags, select a route, then type in the tag you want to remove, then click Rem Tags. Now we go to Filters. We can sort by the tags that we created, as well as the distance, elevation, name, and location. To show all the routes again, just click the blank spot. We're going to change the starting city for this route. You can type in an actual city, neighborhood name, borough, or landmark location 
for the start of that route. We'll type in the new city name, click Save, and now the location has been changed. Although it doesn't actually change the start location of the route itself, we can also change the privacy of routes. Let's select a few routes. We can change it to public, which everyone, club member or not, will be able to see this route. If you're not a club member, you won't be able to take advantage of the premium features. If we set it to private, only members with the ability to manage routes will be able to see these routes. This is good for routes that you do not yet want to reveal to the general public. Friends only means only club members can see this route and take advantage of premium features. Let's set these all to public for now. Friends only. Here's a route I want to get rid of. Let's click a check mark, then click delete, and confirm. While still signed in as the club, we can create a new route. Let's just tap one out really quick here. Save. We'll give it a name. Call this new route. We'll make it friends only so only club members can see it and click save. Now remember, with that yellow bar, it means we're signed in as the club, not my personal account. Now you can see the new route and that it's saved to the club account and set to friends only. Click on home to go back to the club page. Now we can see our new route here, set to friends, and created today. When I'm finished doing everything with the club, I'll go to the top and click sign up. Now I'll take you through managing your members. This is a new club account, and it doesn't have any members yet. I'm going to show you a club that does. Here's the Ride with GPS club. Let's scroll down. Go down to the members section. I have several members that are waiting to be approved. Before approving them, I can give them abilities like, like managing routes. Manage this billing of the club account and manages members. Anyone with manages members can approve, remove, or message. If you don't have the manages members checkbox, you won't even see the members list. Let's go through and approve these guys. If you leave all three boxes unchecked, then that member will be approved as a regular member. If I want to invite members to this club, I can go to the top of my browser, copy the web address, and then paste it into a new email and send this to whomever I like. Or I can click on the invite members, paste this code into the email, and then when they click it, they'll automatically be approved as a member of the club. Remember that feature back when we were setting up the club initially? Let's go back to the top, click on edit profile. Normally there's a button at the top of the club that says join. If we check this box, they can only join if they get a link they can only join if they get the invite link to join the club. This removes the apply to join at the top of the club page. Use this option if you want to lock down the membership of your club. Let's go back to the club page. As a club manager, you can also send direct messages to your club members from within the site. Next to any of the member names, click the red envelope icon. Type in a subject. When that member receives the email, they'll see a new icon in the upper right corner when they sign into the website. I'll sign in as the iHeartBikes member. And then at the very top, they'll see the red icon. They're already a member of the club, so this is just redundant. But I can send them other messages from that page. Another feature is to create events for the clubs. To do this, sign in as the club. Go down to the events section, then click new event. Here we can give the event a name, select a date, then click create event. Now let's add some routes to this event. We'll add a couple loops. On these event pages, we can add more event details and stuff if we want to. We're done. We'll go back to, go back to the club page. Click Sign Out. Now under Events, we have our new event. Anyone with the Manages Routes ability can go to an event, click on View Participants, 
and see who has RSVP'd. That's it for the club accounts. Thanks for watching. Now get out and ride.